Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hey. So today I want to have a look at this map, just this map, which is Canal. Now I like Canal. I think Canal is a great map. It's it's got numerous possibilities. And you know, a lot of the maps, well a lot of winning of games is all dependent on knowing the map and knowing your strategy. And Canal is an is an interesting map because it's quite tricky to be honest with you and there are multiple ways to play it but what I want to show you two games in a heavy tank and one game in a medium tank and I want to show you what I generally tend to do but before I do that I want to go into a massive overview of the map itself to show you the various positions and what you can expect teams to do and what strategies you can employ to make this map work for you basically. So here I am in Strat's sketch. It's a, it's a great little app and it allows you to do breathings and have a look at overviews. So one of the things I want to show you first is what you can expect basically out there. Okay. Now depending on if we start at the south spawn, that's this spawn down here. This is the south spawn. We're, we're going to start there. And where can you expect to find the TDs? So, you may get a TD around here. Okay, so let's stick a TD in there. There we go. You may get TDs around here. That's generally where you're going to find the TDs on this map. What else can you expect? Well, from this spawn, the south spawn, you can expect to see tanks going to this corner. If they're overly aggressive, they'll go over to this corner. You will get heavy tanks probably pushing down to here. And in some instances, you may get them pushing across to here or even to this corner there. So that's what you're generally looking at from the start of the game from this spawn. What about the other spawn? So on the other spawn, you may get a TD here. You may get them here. And if they push quickly enough, you probably get one over there. We will then see, generally, going down the medium route to this corner, sometimes aggressively into this corner, with the heavies either A, pushing that way, or coming into this area here, or this area here. So as you can see, it's almost like a mirror either side. Is that what I do? Well generally no. So I'm going to leave the TDs up. Actually, I'm going to leave the TDs up. So your TD maybe here, maybe here, and maybe here. And what do I do? Well, if I'm in a heavy tank, starting on this south spawn first, you'll generally see me going one of two ways in a heavy tank. I will either go this way, or I will go down there. Why is that? Well, if I go this way, depending on, oops, if I go this way, depending on what the enemy team is doing, generally speaking, I will get some spots here. Now, if I spot them there, here gives me the opportunity to either push down there, push down there, or carry on my push round to meet them there. Same from this area. It allows me to carry on pushing into this position here. Why do I want to do that? Well, that gives me the option to put some fire down here and potentially flank into this area here. And what I will generally do if I'm in this position, I will move around to there and then eventually come up. That gives me the option to go that way or that way. That's what I generally do from that spawn. What about the other spawn? Well, the other spawn, if I'm in a heavy, you will see me either going this way or this way. Why? Well, again, if I've got spots over here, which sometimes happens, I can continue my move round or I can drop down and push around into this corner. What options does that give me? Well, that gives me the option to go up there and put fire that way. It gives me the option to move here put fire that way it even gives me the option to move there and again I can put fire around this 
whole area and it gives me some options you will see that I'm avoiding in a heavy tank at the moment this area here and there's a reason for that okay and I'll get to that later because that should be where the mediums are playing around if I'm in a medium then generally speaking I will go that way so if I look at where I am in a medium, if I'm from the south spawn, I will probably push to this corner. I will not, under any circumstances, push around to here because it's a kill zone. Basically, what you've got from there is if any enemy is here or here or here, they will get fire across to there, to there and to there. And there's no way for you to escape, none whatsoever. So going back to my positioning, this area gives me options. It gives me the ability to go up and it gives me the ability to go round or it gives me the ability to go here or it even gives me the ability to go here. That way I get to put fire down on this area and this area, but I have to be careful. Now nine times out of 10, once this area is cleared, okay, then I can carry on my push either that way or that way. That gives me the options to put fire down on here, anything coming across there and clearing anything here. And that is what we're going to look at. Now before I do that, this is encounter. So I want to show you primarily what some of the pro teams do. Now what they generally have in the pro games is they have obviously caps. So we have the A cap here, we have the C cap here, we have the B cap here, we have the D cap here. Now what you will generally find the pro teams doing is sending their heavies into here and then rotating them down, okay, and around like this, and if they spawn from here, and then you'll see them sending their mediums to here. Okay, so they can get map dominance. From the other side, you normally get a fast cap there. They will normally send something there. They may send something to overlook here. Now, the reason they do that, and sometimes they will push their heavies over these bridges like this to try and put pressure on that. Once they've done that, okay, they will generally, if they're here, they'll drop down and they'll move to this position or they'll overlook this position and they'll have tanks with overview here. Sometimes, not always, you may get in that position there a light tank to overlook. From the other side of the map, if they get the, B, if they get the D cap, you normally get a tank overlooking there and overlooking there. And the idea of this map eventually is to push the caps. So from this point to push this way or from this point to push onto this one here and it's a very difficult map to play from a professional level because what you're looking at here is the cap who has got the cap advantage who has got the cap pressure i'm only going to show you one game in supremacy and i'm going to show you the majority of the games as i said are going to be heavy tanks and i'm going to show you one medium tank and i'm going to show you how i played it now now before i do that you have to remember one thing your strats, nine times out of 10, depends completely on the enemy team's lineup. So without any further ado, this is me in an IS-4 on canal. And it's not a supremacy game, it's an encounter game. And like I showed you with the overview on strat sketch, I'm gonna drop down into this area. Now that allows us to spot the E100. I don't spot him, somebody else does. I get a shot into the E100, and I'm gonna continue pushing around. Now, I know if there's an E100 there, there's other things there. So if I continue my little push to this corner, I'm relatively secure and other things may get lit up. Push around a bit further and I can see that there are other things. There you go, there's a waffle tractor in the normal TD position. Put a smack into him. I'm tuned up here with Laurel Y from Vale, who's an incredibly good player. And he's dropped down as well if you look at the minimap. Now we've got a 50 TP trying to push into that corner where I showed you and he's going to get punished also. We are now in quite a nice position. We have got them effectively cornered here. 
we're able to put shots in. Now look, I'm not going to set the world on fire. And the question you've got to ask yourself is the following. What is it that you expect from your games? Are you expecting mastery, you know, golden M's? Are you expecting massive damage? Or are you expecting to win? Now if you're expecting to win, then that's a different thing. Okay, that's an unlucky bounce. They're going to push Loro. I mean, I'm getting smacked from the other side. If you look at the mini map, you see where the majority of our tanks are. Okay, and they, thankfully, the team decided that they were going to come and support us, which is good. We're very forward here, but we have got support, and we're able to take the battle to the enemy, and we get rid of the E100. They've now lost four tanks. We're able to push and apply pressure here from this position. Now, a lot of people say that don't drop down. It's like, uh, it's like a death trap, and to an extent, that is true, but... If you take the route that I just showed you, then nine times out of 10, the death trap is not a death trap, okay? But you do need support, and you do need an enemy that is obliging, like we had here. Now we do 2,580 damage, we bounce 370, we take a kill, and we're quite dominant. We're able to whittle the enemy down. And that is one of the reasons why I like doing that on this map. It's never always gonna work, don't get me wrong. But, but, you need to look at that lineup and you need to know your options. Those are our options in that game. We took the option, we push forward, get a second class for our troubles. We get some decent damage knocked out, not loads, totally agree. We get some decent credits and we win the game. That is the main thing, winning the game. Well, it, it is for me anyway. So here we are in a supremacy battle on the other spawn now, the south spawn. And I've already indicated that I want to go towards that A cap. Okay. Now, this gives me some options. And now, I'm not going to rush and YOLO into the A cap. There's a good reason for that. But I'm going to come around this corner, try and redline it. And then if there's anything on the B cap, which there should be, we will see that. And there we go. There's the B cap. Let's look across. We've got a Sheridan who spots it. We've got a Kranwagen and a Yo. We bounce the crown bargain. We're trying to get his bottom plate. I'm going to stick my backside behind this rock, effectively, so they can't really see me at the moment, even though I'm firing and my camo profile goes up, and we're going to track him again. But you can see there that they've got a concentration of tanks on the B cap. Okay, maybe now we will pen the crown bargain. Yes, we do, and we take him out. At this moment in time, I've not been spotted. Now, they've got an AMX Firebird that's jumped into that A cap, I don't know if this one actually pens. I think I hit him, but I don't know if I pen him. So I genuinely know where their tanks are. I'm also looking at the minimap and they've got a medium tank at the D cap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop down, as I explained, and I'm gonna go around the outside, not the inside. I am gonna be spotted by the AMX, I know that, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that my two tanks up there will deal with the AMX and allow me to continue my flank around this side to overlook that B cap. Now look, they've got a 57 heavy and a WZ. So let's see what we can do. Now I'm in a haul down tank with good gun depression with, with pretty solid turret. So I'm able to use this ramp. Oh, they've also got the Yo still. So I'm able to use this ramp effectively. And that's all I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and bait this T57 heavy into shooting me. And I bait him the first time. I get a good shot into him. He misses his shot. Now he's in a world of pain. There's nowhere he can go. That's a bad bounce and he doesn't bounce. Um, but I'm gonna continue whittling him down, farming him a little bit, baiting him a little bit, trying to get him to basically make a mistake. And he makes a mistake. I'm now gonna try and I don't know where this shot actually goes. It goes somewhere. Oh, it goes into the shed and goes no further. Now I'm going to forget that and concentrate on the WZ. And as you can see here, we've put the enemy under pressure. They are under extreme pressure. There's nothing really they can do. And this is why I like doing that particular move and that particular strat. It's never always going to work, though, guys. And you have to judge what is going to be good gameplay for you we've taken out three kills okay we've only done 1700 and as i said i'm not trying to set the world on fire here with massive damage and you know super op replays i'm just trying to show you certain ways that you can play certain maps but you've got to remember this you you you've 
got to read the team lineup and you've got to under try and understand and anticipate where the enemy is going because if you don't do that okay they could all go to the decap and then you'd be completely screwed well you wouldn't because if it's a supremacy game you just take the a cap and the c cap and then voila bobby's your uncle fan is your aunt how that missed on the fv well how that bounced on the fv is beyond me troll there we go i'm not going to take any more damage um the e4 is just going to get rushed by the is4 and the vk and it's all over the game is won simple as that and okay we're going to win on bases anyway but if you notice i didn't bother with any bases and you know i generally don't i, I let others bother with the bases we're not winning the game i do a lot of assistant damage 3.6k and I'm happy with that game, and I'm happy with the strat that I, that I employed there with my heavy tank. It worked, okay. It wasn't overly aggressive, it wasn't passive. We get a, we get spotting um, medal and we get a second class, which is also very nice. But like I'm trying to point out, it's not always about doing that massive damage, guys. It's about getting yourself and your tank in a position to win the games. Well, it is for me anyway. So this is the last game, and this is me in a medium tank, uh, the M60. Again, we're on the south spawn, and I'm going to go the medium route. That is towards that decap. And like I showed you with Strat Sketch, I'm not going to push down into that corner, which is a death trap. I'm going to push to this little corner here, and hopefully that bat chat will come hurtling around that corner. And there he is. There's the bat chat, as anticipated, because you know that certain tanks are going to go to certain places. Now, I don't want to stick my nose out too much now i'm anticipating that their tds are over where i showed you and the majority of their tanks are going to be in the middle area because they're heavies and there's the ho re so he is in a position where i thought he would be this is a terrible shot by me i have to admit boom big bounce so i now know there's a ho re there I don't know where that other TD is, but I know that all their heavies and their other medium must be over the other side of the map. They are capping. So, like I showed you in Strat Sketch, I'm going to push around this corner, but I'm going to do it carefully because there is a ho re there and there are a lot of heavies somewhere. I'm going to continue tentatively pushing. There we go. There's the IS-7. There's the 60 TP. So, we generally know where their, where, where their tanks are now. Okay, we're going to put one into the 60 TP, voila, and then we're just going to pull away, and hopefully he's not going to spot, he, he does spot us, but he doesn't get one into us. Now I'm going to move towards the area, and oh, there's the Hori, catch him on, the, uh, on, on, on his retreat. Can we tag him again as he, before he gets into that building? Yes, we can. So the base is now defended, this is going to allow us to now push heavily forwards. We've got this game already in our hands and it's only two minutes in they've lost three tanks we have done what we needed to do now i'm tuned up here with fluffy rigged in the sheridan he's a great player and in the sheridan he's pretty op we've already decided that it's the 60 tp who is the focus of our attention he's isolated he's out on a limb we should be able to finish him off here bang yes we do they've only got two tanks left Again, I'm not setting the world on fire. I'm not doing massive damage. What I am doing is what I can to win the game. That is important. You've got to win the games to get your win rate up. I'm going to push up around here. Hopefully, we can then get shots into either the FV or the IS-7. The IS-7 is the one I'm looking for. And the FV is gone, courtesy of our FV. And now we're just going to push onto the IS-7 and we track him. So that's how I generally play Canal, be it a heavy tank or be it a medium tank. I'm not saying that is the perfect way to play Canal. I'm not saying it's the ideal way to play Canal. There is no perfect strat per se. What there is, is you looking at the enemy team's lineup and you trying to anticipate what they may or may not do okay and based on that you formulate your strat now in those two games we anticipated what the enemy was going to do sorry three games and we tailored our strat accordingly however as i said it's not always going to work that way and you as the player have got to work out what's best for you all i'm saying is 
give it a try the next time you're on this map. Give it a try the next time you're in a heavy tank on this map. Okay, try to get to these advanced positions that are quite aggressive and just see how it works. Now, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, but you never know. I sometimes change threats and I don't always go this way. Sometimes I go over the bridge, sometimes I go, you know, to that area. It's just that recently I've just been trying this strat and it's worked for me, to be honest with you. Anyway, I've been fooded. That has been my little overlook on the map canal. Not by any stretch of the imagination saying you need to follow these strats. All I'm saying is, you know, consider your options and keep them open because you never know. It may work for you. Anyway. I'd love to hear your views on this. Comment and everything below. Let me know your thoughts on playing Canal, what you do, how you do it, because I'm interested to know. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.